G'day everybody, this is Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth Corp here, and we are on the verge of potentially a nasty break in the market. Um, so I wanted to, we're going to be hosting a special event uh, this evening, this is uh, Tuesday evening at uh, 5pm Pacific, 8pm Eastern, talking about what's happening in the market and how to play it. Um, so I hope you can join and we'll be giving you the information on how to join that free event tonight shortly. But firstly, I wanted to explain to you why this event is so important and what's going on in the market. So currently, uh, the S&P 500, as you can see, um, this is the SPY. Um, as you can see, we have been in this upward channel. This big upward channel, as you can see, illustrated by these two thick blue lines. Inside that, we've been in a smaller upward channel, um, that uh, which recently peaked. So for those of you who've been following us for a while, we hosted this same event that we're hosting tonight um, uh, at the end of September, warning people of an imminent market meltdown, following our smart money indicators. Um, one, because of the broader upward channel, two, because of the other smaller upward channel, and three, because there was a head and shoulders that had formed right up here in the top right uh, of that uh, channel. Everything said things are going to break down, and they did, uh, and they broke all the way down to that channel support. We rallied back up, and, and, and so we called that drop perfectly. We called the uh, 262 level on the SPY as a target perfectly. Not only that, but we called that the market would rebound, but it wasn't a rebound of quality, that it was a short covering rally. In fact, uh, in our, uh, in our uh, uh, video that we released on uh, was it Friday, November 9th, we made the point that there was, I think it was 1,200 stocks were going down 2 to 3% over those last couple of days, whereas only 600 stocks were going up by more than 2 to 3%. So all the action was to the downside, and the stocks that were going up were the ones that were the most heavily shorted. So it was just a short squeeze. So on November 9th, we said, this is the highest this market's going to go. Start. You, you could probably start shorting here, and gave our five favorite plays. They played out awesome. So far... Uh, we then we now got the same the same signal uh, today as in uh, from Monday's trading. Uh, on Monday's trading, we broke down through a critical support level. Again, we'll be talking about why uh, in uh, in Tuesday night's event, tonight's event, um, that uh, the S and P 500 had broken down through. This indicates that for the rest of the month we are likely to go bearish. Now let me show you a couple of technical reasons why. One. The whole pattern of the S&P 500 is bearish overall. But secondly, if you actually zoom in to the hourly chart, you will also see that on the hourly chart, you have a, a smaller term uh, time frame bearish signal as well, and that's a head and shoulders. Now, if you measure the head and shoulders on the hourly chart of the S&P 500, let's just measure that. There we go. And we duplicate that beneath, as you should, to get the target. This brings us down to 258 on the SPY. Let's rewind now, back to the daily chart, to see where 258 is in terms of that pattern. 258, aha, uh -huh, would bring us through that support that we've now bounced off once, twice, three times, four times we've bounced off that support, which by technical analysis rules also means that it's due to break. So Technically, it's due to break. The head and shoulders tells us we're going to break down to 258. And if that occurs, that means we're looking at an extension of this upward channel to then take us down lower, possibly as low as 230. That's a 15% decline from where we close today. So this could be a very exciting short market, market meltdown, um, if this occurs. So this is why I'm holding positions such as SQQQ, which is a triple short on the uh, the NASDAQ. I bought that today. I'm also holding TZA, uh, which I've been holding since around $9.16 when we first started to break down in October. And uh, 
And in fact, there was the position. There was the position that I took. Just wanted to bring up my slide. This is actually a screenshot from my own brokerage account, personal brokerage account. As you can see, as it was nine dollars twenty-four. In fact, um, uh, bought a sizable position, as you can see there, um, ten thousand nine hundred units um, for a total of one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. When we saw that break happening in October, so um, uh, once again, that was right there as things broke down when we hosted that webinar in early October, when these same scenarios were occurring also. So I'm still holding TZA. I bought some $13 calls today as well. Um, there's an, and there's a bunch of other positions. NTAP, NTAP is one that I've been holding puts on since it broke down through this upward channel. As you can see, they performed really nicely over this last week. Um, PE is another one I've uh, loaded up on puts on, uh, as you can see, head and shoulders pattern. That's done really nicely, hitting a short-term profit target today. And uh, and there's a whole lot more uh, in terms of newer positions that we're gearing up for. Um, just a couple that we'll be discussing in, uh, in tonight's special webinar. Um, GWRE head and shoulders. We'll be talking about um, where to play this, what type of uh, what we're looking for, what levels we're looking for it to break down. But I mean, if this breaks down below this kind of $78 level, this could free fall to $60. So we'll be talking about how to play that and what we'll be looking for. We'll be talking about things like TRTN, uh, also a potential head and shoulders pattern. Uh, again, looking at what levels we're looking for it to break, where it could go, option potentials. Um, and Best Buy. Again, these are just three of the things we're going to be looking at. Best Buy, also one we alerted as it started to break down weeks ago. Um, that free fall today, um, uh, well, I should say Monday, uh, down 6.37%. We'll be talking about this one and how far this could go as well along with many others. We'll also be teaching you the smart money system we used to predict these major turning points. And it wasn't just um, the most recent the most recent one, uh, we predicted the turning point uh, when we first dropped in the beginning of October, along with the rally from the bottom, along with the turning point we just recently saw, and we're calling another big turn now. So don't miss it. It's going to be awesome. And uh, again, it's free. So uh, sign up at www.acornwealthcorp.com forward slash event. And if you can't make tonight, uh, register anyway, and, and then you'll be included in future events uh, as we'll be doing an on, a, 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 another presentation of this either later this week or early next week, um, and we'll announce that date after this evening's event. So even if you missed tonight, still register for it, acornwealthcorp.com forward slash event, and uh, we'll be able to send you out some cool things uh, after the presentation. But if you can make it live, I would highly suggest it. This is the time for making some money. So looking forward to seeing you there. And uh, again, happy trading. Take care.